Well, to get the setup with DJ's disruption, get themselves the first level. At the same time, top lane. Mind control. Look at all three for three though. Again, not quite enough burst for the current mind control. Could be a jump and keeps himself alive there. Okay. And now he gets to turn it around. You were expecting Very control. nice reaction from the Death Prophet, getting himself involved up on the top lane. Making sure the Fnatic don't get away with that aggressive play. So, something very important. Three minutes in, he had, he, I think he had an eight extra. And at the same time, bottom, the edge comes into time. Set up on the DJ, Pro Strike comes to two, but the time is not enough damage in the epicenter. And so will help out again. DJ puts himself with the ball, keeps himself alive, free for free, gets the two man to KO, a high over the crush for Mana. He stands up as well, and Liquid, they're looking to move in, Mike, just gotta be careful. In fact, he's gonna go down to the point of DJ. Liquid losing one. Fnatic still hanging around. The Amplify onto Fada Mushi. Trying to close the gap. Oh, oh, Radiant's back for now. Fada turns around with the side, but he's going to get a high out. He'll still go down. But at least he managed to bring something with him that we go out. They have one. They just close to Kuroki. Okay. It looks to set this up. Remnant on to Remnant action here. The torrent is going to catch. But they've got the lock down. Michael Jones coming in for the disruption. Is Michael Jones going to get the first? Mushi falling low. They could have spin enough to kill Mind Control. They've got to keep Mushi alive. So, so can he get himself out of the torrent? Oh! It doesn't matter because the grip swarm from Fada finishes him off. One for one. They've got a quest for DJ. They'll close back in on to Kuroki. But now they make it two for one. The DJ is going to make it on to Fada. The chains are there. Three for three closing in as well. They'll take down another. Three for one trade. Again, favoring Fnatic. Obviously, unfavorable. If they can get the wraparound. They get a ward down. They will be able to tackle Fnatic from the side on from this angle. Three for three. Maybe the ones up front hit, and indeed they will jump immediately onto a gun. The defensive just looks down higher. With the crush onto three on the back line. And three for three. Still gets hit by the point, but he's keeping himself alive. It finally goes down. So this will get the pick. Mushi, though, comes in with a BKB and the Eclipse trying to chase down Kuroki. One more loose and beam and a couple of zombies to the backside, they'll do it. Mipwalk comes in, breaks down Mind Control. They've taken themselves to a higher. Easy. The point going in the jump onto Fada, amplifies out. Mipwalk was holding back Mipwalk and there's the song from Atoma Man just in time. It's going to allow Fada and Jarek to get themselves out. Atoma Man is going to get chased. Cooldown though, Atoma Man may have paid with his life a higher speed. Catches him out, but Superman may have saved oh, two, but at the cost of his own life. The harm's way at the same time, Liquid may look to fight back here, coming around with Kuroki. He's caught on the front line to this one, and the cook goes down. Now jumping in by the Jones, gets the Kuroki strike onto one, signs for fight onto two. DJ falling low, but he's not going to quite put down a Mushi. Manning over the BKB, Mike controls the ball, Red the ball from Mizzle, he's looking for more. Chase on to Fado and Jarek, Fado kills himself up, and Jarek is out. Fado out as well, a triple kill for mid one. And Fnatic! Absolutely crushing Gaia's Liquid in the first count. 20 or so Some minutes of this game. The Zember Spirit pick is doing a tremendous amount of work for them. Like, he's been so active, been involved in 15 out of the 20 kills for his team. He's just been everywhere he needs to be, being Gaia's able to chase down these extra heroes. And once a Sardar has Blink Dagger, like Ohio, he can just chase the man, Michael Jones, jump down through the way, and pull back. Sorry. Oh, that's a big one, actually. Damn, what's he doing? He's been caught out. Big one. Not in the position that he needed to be. And this is really hurt, and there's a good DB at buyback from Ember getting himself back in on the fight. Song coming out. Could he don't think do anything with it. They've locked down mid one. But only the rest of the liquid have backed up mid one. Chaining up the two of them. Creating the space for Mushi to push in. He's lost one of his lives. Fortification will come out, Liquid. Need to pull something off it to stop. But now they can get in the rack. Big one that jumps in again. This remember is incredibly aggressive. The deal with the club. They're going to be able to do it. Two down, three down. Three buybacks. Three buybacks from Liquid. Putting everything they've got into this defense. I mean, for now, we kill them again. Now the crew. A fire. That's what mind control. Fnatic is taking the shot to cover more kills here. It's going to be absolutely huge. They'll keep the pressure off. Liquid is 3 for 3 Mushi, Xbox, and Nova getting into the defense. He's up to the fire. On to Fnatic. Just died now. Got Fnatic. Two dive-backs. Three dive-backs on Liquid. <laughs> and Fnatic, they really are doing it here. Liquid. It will seem like a huge play of frustration just throwing all their resources into that one defense. And Fnatic, they'll clear out the mid lane. They head towards the bottom. Only Matuma Man left Dyer's to defend. Bottom tower has fallen. Oh man. Uh, he, he was just unbelievable there, getting a three man crush, just reinitiating over and over again. Liquid just <laughs> right now. They, they can't do anything about this fire. 
Mid, even mid one not popping his BKB when he went in the first time, you could have even said that was somewhat of a bait because he just has he can buy back right away. He already has Remnant on anyway, so he can just be back in the fight at the drop of a hat. And that's a double set of racks for Fnatic. Liquid yet to have an answer for any of the aggression that they've been shown in this game. And Mushi Satanic done as well. He's still got 3k gold on top of picking that Satanic up. This game has gone to absolute bomb for Liquid and mid one jumping in the Jax of mind control. Jax is gone. Liquid still holding in. But the question is for how long is Fnatic looking to finish off the final set of racks on this top lane? Behold, so we'll have a full team back up fairly shortly. And Fnatic will respect that. Backing away, backing up. I mean, they've got to feel very comfortable with the position that they've managed to get themselves into. 37 minutes in, 30 to 12. Two full Dyer's sets of ready to go for this push. Liquid needs some excuse to defend this one. Mike Todd tries to come in. Amaya jumps in onto Mike Control. He's gone. Looking for the Timberman, but Timberman. Destructed up by DJ for the set Into the front. There he is. A slap to go in now. They've lost it on the buyback from the Timberman. Liquid. They need a bit of a miracle to hold on to this one. The ghost will come out for Fada, but mid one. Sly and Fisting chaining up the Kuroki. Holding him back. Again, looks like Fnatic with that. First burst, just again holding back, only for seconds though, the next free wave comes through. You can see Fnatic going in heavy again. They know there's no Sand King for this defense. There is still a song available. Exorcism has already been used though. As Liquid really falling short on the tools required to hold back Fnatic. Mushi for the illusions, just focusing the rats. Looking to get those objectives Dyer's complete. On the Tumor Man, he just can't do it up on his own. He's trying to push this out. Jax will jump in. There's a choice for him. He gets these crunches from Ohio. Catching three, four, every time. Four, dead. Five, and Liquid are doing it. 37 for 12. But that is playing absolutely top class Dota here on the main stage. Coming into this series. A lot of people would have looked at Liquid's performance so far here in the main event and said it should be relatively easy, but Fnatic, they have a... Most well, solid games I've seen them play the entire day of Fnatic. That was just an incredible performance, so pretty much... So level 3 is a huge power spike for them. I'm talking about getting action done on that top lane in, in terms of finding two. Surely there's going to be the point as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Moving in on Mushi, trying for it. Gus comes out. Well, he's just going to it. It's a good heal as well. Not quite enough as Liquid. They'll take down one. See if Fnatic can find anything else in return. DJ looking to chase down Kuroki from the Tumberman. He wants to get himself another. Hitting it to DJ. Double kill for the Tumberman. And Liquid, they may not even be done yet. Free for free. Still has the decay available. They're going to look to chase him. They're going to be able to hold him in position. And Liquid surrounding the Adai gets himself a third. The aggressive tri lane working out absolutely perfect. Been left entirely on his own. But with the Vanguard, he's incredibly tanky. They're going to have to blow pretty much everything to try and get a kill. As you can see, they'll do it. And if go for the TP, I won't make it. It's a good <laughs> attempt, but Fnatic, they get themselves the kill, but they really do have to blow absolutely everything. Sonic Wave and Wave to get the kill, and at the same time, they can realize there's a chance to move in on to 3 4 3. He's got a higher comes in. Mara tries to put him about, and Liquid, they'll be happy to continue to just fight through this one. Looking at Mushi, Jax is really chasing him down. Jax facing the team himself, keeping himself okay for the time being. Mushi turns around, will finally finish him off. Dyer's but the man finishes off DJ Kuroki, TP's away. Radiant's bottom tower is, is under attack. A trade up at the top, but the fact that Matuma man just continues to get these kills. Your double kill on the Sven. What is he at this point? He's, yeah, 4-0. Tower is under Look attack. Smoke, but Liquid are actually going to get the wraparound from behind them here. But he's going to be the one to front this. Can they bring down the Razor? Relatively tanky. Jarrett is there. Does have false promise if necessary. The Tombstone will be dropped by Fugu. Yes. But there's the false promise coming out. Oh. 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 Ice Blast for Kroki. Takes down the quad. They'll pick off the Undying as well on the side. A good from Mushi holds that Liquid. But they'll be able to continue to change. It's all about the bunch of Nancy Kroki. Oh. 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 Mike Control gets the call to Ohio. Ohio dumps down. Fnatic losing four, finding nothing in return, and it may not be over yet. But Tumberman takes DJ as well, team wiping Fnatic. And this seems to be the liquid that people were expecting to see. But Fnatic is under attack, especially if they lose another fight. But they're coming in, they make it the edge from the back of this smoke. Look, he's gonna score. Oh, no. Ohio whipping that one, and he's going to pay with his life. The sanking is out, and Liquid, they're ready 
to come in and clean up more. A Sonic Wave. It will catch Michael Jock, bringing him alone. He's not going to bring him down. Jock falls to Michael Jock, getting back in. Ice comes to the face of the Queen of Pain. Three down off Fnatic. And the way that started, I mean, Ohio, we saw in game one, his initiations were absolutely perfect. But just whipping it there on the Sand King and Liquid, they need every single thing that they can possibly get to make their way back in. Yeah, let's say what it can get. Setting up something here, big, with the next set injection. Onto Michael Shaw. Goes down as well. The Shackle for DJ, but DJ leaves it. Having to let go is Liquid. Therefore, we're fighting back. Michael Shaw will be taken down, though. The Matilda Man chokes through DJ. Fire falling over the false bullets for Jax, keeping him alive. But this is looking to be a fantastic fight for Fnatic. The turnaround is there. The strength! This time, the last few times, it's not gone great. Fnatic, in a good position and hiding in the tree line. We'll see who's the first to reveal. Walker's dropped on the spot. Oh, DJ. From the shed, I think he's gonna jump on the shed. Looks back to the shed, that man's dropped. Oh, it's not going to be in the back! Oh, it's not going to be in the back! Oh, it's not going to be in the back! Oh, it's not going to be in the back! Oh, it's not going to be in the back! Oh, it's not going to be in the Radiance all the way, so one creep and he's pretty much got it. But they need to react to this a little bit faster. Oh, he's right to the base, got it. He's going to the way and they're right behind. Jump to the Bursted immediately. The walls around the BKBs from Liquid Bomb. The back up those a buyback for Hyrule Jack. The Fnatic punish this play. But even Mike Chop with Jarrett's with a false promise, keeping the axe safe. And Lib one jumping forward. Can't get the latch on the Matuba Man as he blinks. Now, Liquid on the high ground. They maybe want to go back in Liquid Pro. I get up. And they try to play around, looking to the side. They might actually call Matuba Man alone. It's a big pick to find the sped. Now, to it. Oh, the three man goes for Sonic Man to find the fire upon the shield as a high over the Amazon. They're looking for Karaki and Fnatic. They may have fallen short of the last couple of fights, but again, we're seeing the Fnatic mid game team fight power that they were showing us earlier. It's back again. And Fada, he's going to be one to fall as well by the looks of his Ohio and Mushi. Chase down the Razor. And again, Liquid managed to stabilize the game a little bit with the BKB purchases, but as we saw there, Fnatic. They Around this ward from Fnatic, spotting them all out here. So they're kind of a jump again, they punch up, see an immediate reaction from Jared, he gets away, Mike Jock goes back in, now, he's on the back, jumping off the middle, trying to get it down, of course not, Mike Jock immediately comes in, but that's quite quirky, pulling over, but he's still alive, Liquid just trying to get the shot the hell out of there, popping the BKBs and running, they know there's going to be a quad boxing in, oh yeah, heavy, but he's on the back, 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 he's on Mind control doesn't have five minutes. Radiance top to the top racks. Mid one cleans up by control. They have lost to high oak, but they've got four. They got the melee racks as well. There's no buyback on mind control. 100 seconds dead. The only person who's dead on Fnatic is the Sand King. And of course, Fnatic. They've got all the pushing power that they need to lie. Mushi standing strong, ready to go in on the top limit. Timberland picks up the refresher. Maybe gonna look for a final hurrah. He's down two teammates. Radiance top barracks. He's going won. to need that miraculous play. This could catch them by surprise. I think he wants to wait out his, his BKB at least in the God Strength. If he can get two ultimates and two BKBs, there is a chance they can defend this even outnumbered. It's only 10 more seconds on the God Strength, and then he'll be able to double ulti, double BKB. That could be enough. 60 seconds without on control for the defense. Some of that jumping in BKB. Get the summon suit DJ with a ghost. He's looking to focus three more three for the death. Oh, no, 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 it's gone. Sonic Wave to the fight. Two minutes without the turbo. Father's trying to do it from the side, but Boosie DJ shackles Father off the false. 
Nick Rook is in there, BKB's come out! Nick Rook, maybe looking for a long ditch defense! 3 4 3 4 back with the ranks of 4 he's gonna get the objective by the Mayor! Nick Rook, look at the Mayor! The Mayor is from Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. With one of the best performances until we've ever seen from them. You know, I wish Fnatic's bracket was now. That's 2 0 Team Liquid. An absolute.